Welcome back to the uh, down, uh, Dornbush Download. Hit the Download uh, Dornbush. Another, uh, another week <laughs> uh, rolls on by. It does, doesn't it? It's yeah. just like a blur at the moment. Michael, unbelievable. And it heeps happening, isn't there, all around there is a lot the place. A lot of economic news. Of course, we had company reporting, all of that yeah. sort of thing. And there, there, was a, there was a lot in that month in February, wasn't there? It just uh, came from everywhere. So. Oh, absolutely. No, it's been hard to draw a breath there. So, mm. mate, no, what's been catching your eye, Dan? Well, it's just... Um, been reading about the Reserve Bank minutes, Michael. It's uh, quite interesting. It's, uh, they're really, I think they're from what we're reading, they're really sort of in a, a, a waiting period now mm. as to what they're going to do with the next rate cut. Mm. Um, inflation figures out on April 22nd, I think. So mm. they'll wait for that. Um, and you, I was reading too that, that the rate cut actually takes about six to 12 months to flow through mm. the system. So they, you know, I think they're waiting on that. And whether they're waiting too on um, if there's a nasty in the May budget for negative gearing. Um, and just on, on mm. property, um, Brendan and I went to a conference the other day and Schroders were presenting. Mm -hmm. And they, they're really saying that the, the property sector is probably charged too too far in the last six mm -hmm. months, and you know we've spoken about it, AL, ALE property yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, borrowing to pay their dividends. Mm -hmm. um, there's been quite a bit of that happening apparently in, in the market. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and shopping centres Australia are coming out now. Mm -hmm. um, you know they want to raise twenty million. Mm -hmm. um, when I rang the hotline to find out what that was for, was some debt reduction and some capacity. You know. They owe $744 million, so if they pay half of the $20 million that they're trying to raise off the debt, it, it yeah, really yeah. doesn't do anything, does it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that makes you wonder in itself what they're up to. Yeah, yeah no, no, it does. No, there, there has to be hopefully some method to the madness, mm. but, um, but yes, you're right. I mean, uh, I know ALE and, and certainly Arden Leisure was another one that we've been talking about. Yeah, and, yeah just getting that feel. It yeah. might be a bit, uh, a bit toppy. Mm, mm. Absolutely. So what have you been looking at lately? Yeah, yeah Dan, probably what caught my uh, the announcement um, from BHP, take a step back, not really the announcement, but I guess just more confirmation about this uh, South 32. Yeah. Uh, Interesting name, isn't it? It is, mm. yeah. So, um, you know, this has been proposed now oh. a good six months or so mm. ago now. So, you know, certainly no no earth-shattering news, but, but again, just more of a confirmation, certainly more about timeline when we're, when, you know, when it all might be happening. Um, so shareholders in uh, BHP will go to a vote, uh, 6th yep. of May, um, and assuming that all goes through, um, BHP will go uh, basically into trading halt uh, 15th of May, um, and the South 32 uh, will be listed on the 18th mm -hmm. of May on a, on a deferred settlement basis. So, so BHP, yeah, going through a, a pretty big process at the moment. You it know, is this, a big process, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. This South 32, they reckon will have a market cap of about $15 billion. So you're talking a company the size of, say, Suncorp Metway yeah. or um, IAG. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's going to be probably just outside the top 20, yeah. certainly in the top 30. Um, so, you know, it is. It's a, it's a big process. Mm. It's going to cost BHP uh, around about $740 million <laughs> um, to do this. Um, yeah. About $340 million in stamp duty and tax. So enormous process. Mm. Um, they're sort of suggesting that um, you know they might get synergies of about 100 million. Uh, now this is US dollars, of course, yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, 100 million per year in in cost savings, but uh, yeah, certainly a big spend mm. um, up front. Um, so, Michael, is South 32 going to hold the good assets or the bad assets or the the, the, the core assets? The core uh, assets. In inverted yeah. commas, <laughs> in inverted commas, will stay with BHP. Yes. Um, so, and, BH and they're probably looking at a yield then of around five and a half for BHP. They are, yeah, and BHP, surprisingly for a minor, yeah, has really cranked up its dividend yield over the last couple of years. Um, you know, at the moment, BHP uh, has 41 assets over 13 countries. Um, after the demerger, they'll go back to 19 assets, so they'll keep the core uh, petroleum, copper, yep. uh, potash, iron ore. And the rest will go out into South 32. And they've really South been 32. pushing copper, haven't they, BHP? They you see a big future for it, especially with India and, and the electricity needs over there. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, Very interesting. Uh, but, but certainly from a shareholder perspective, when we look back in history at, at these demergers, if you look at, say, um, you know, Boral and Origin mm. Energy or CSR and Rinka, one 
of the two companies has generally done very well. So yeah. we're, we're sort of expecting that, you know, uh, hopefully either one of these companies should perform very well. interesting if so. it's South 32 does very really well. Well, very much so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, again, it's sort of going to have the, yeah, the, the, the scattering, I suppose, yeah. of those yeah. much smaller mines. Yeah. Um, but in itself, again, it's going to be a, a company of substance. Mm. So, uh, so Michael, BHP any, holders will be getting a yeah, bit more info about that over the, over the coming weeks. Yeah, yeah. good. So yeah. would you be suggesting clients buy if they don't hold BHP, get $5,000 worth? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Starting to pick up a few BHP. I think BHP inherently is pretty cheap anyway at the yeah. moment, well, isn't it? Well, it's a good yield uh, at the moment, about yeah. four and a half. Absolutely. So, so uh, you know, again, bottom of the cycle and, and certainly, you know, the, the pessimists are out there, you know, uh, laying the, the slipper into it. Yep. Um, but again, if you can flick the, the objective side of the brain on, you know, these are often the times to be picking up these sorts yeah. of companies. Yeah. So, um, yeah, certainly more than, uh, more than comfortable to pick up a few BHP. So, Dan, anything else? I think we're just All about good. done. That's Wednesday done. Very good. Thanks. We'll see you next time.